In the Reiner Report, California now leads the nation in catalytic converter thefts. That's according to State Farm. And so lawmakers have introduced several bills to try and tackle the issue. ABC 10's Morgan Reiner covers all things politics and is here now to explain. Chris, not only does California rank number one, but it far outnumbers the state that comes in after it by double. I spoke to an auto shop owner who told me he gets multiple calls every week from people asking if he'll buy their used catalytic converters, which he knows, Chris, are stolen. Tommy Dow owns this mom and pop auto shop in Sacramento. They also drill a hole in a metal fuel tank to <laughs> take all the gas out of it. Lights, cameras, locks, and fences did not stop people from breaking into his business to try and steal catalytic converters from his customers' cars. That's not much you can do. People go to, to a grocery store, they come out, and, and they can't be missing. He also gets multiple calls weekly from people asking if he'll purchase their used parts. They probably call me like two, three times a week. You know what I mean? They'll ask you, you guys buy used cats? And I always say no, you know, because I don't, I know it's probably stolen off another somebody else's car. Tommy told me that there are certain safety measures you can put in place, like putting rebar around your catalytic converter or even wiring. But at the end of the day, he says that's only going to slow them down for a few minutes. It won't stop them altogether. So easy that Tommy's shop is just one of at least five on this one road that thieves targeted. It's, it's extremely expensive. The uh, Toyota pickup truck was over $3,000. The Ford pickup truck was no longer available. Expensive for Tom Paget's customers and expensive for him. My insurance had been canceled uh, because of the loss, the, the amount of, of uh, cost to the insurance company. They, to them, it wasn't worth it any longer. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Amy from State Farm told me California comes in first for the number of 2021 claims. In California, we've seen about a 720% increase in the thefts from 2019 to 2021. The Golden State accounted for a third of all their claims paid out. There are two bills right now aimed at helping the issue. SB 986 would require dealers or retailers to mark the converters on new cars with the vehicle's identification number. The people who buy them don't care if there's ID numbers on them. AB 2398 would make it a crime to possess a catalytic converter detached from a car without documentation. They need to start with whoever it is that's purchasing them and if they have no value any longer or there's no place to sell them, I think it'll die down. Some of these owners have seen the thefts live on their security cameras or in person as it's happening, but it happens so fast the police don't get there in time and then it's hard to move forward from there. Experts say to park in a well-lit garage, but Chris, some of these guys told me it's happened to them in broad daylight. It's just so ridiculous. It's the last thing people need, especially with the high gas prices. So Morgan, do we know what type of cars get hit the most? Priuses for some reason, and then he says that Hondas are targeted the most, and then any car that's lifted high up above the ground, like trucks and SUVs. Mm, my goodness, our Morgan Reiner reporting for us tonight. Morgan, thank you.